What's good? It's your boy Zatumbo. And today we're gonna be talking about how Adrian Broner fucking beat Jesse Vargas' ass. First of all, that first half of the fight, it was very extremely hard to judge because Jesse Vargas, he was throwing a lot. He wasn't landing much, but he was definitely landing way more than um than Broner. But Broner just was not throwing punches at all. The judges, they had gave Vargas like the first six rounds. That was bullshit. It was like either the third or the fourth round. Broner won. He either won one of them or won both of them. You could have did it either way. But Jesse Vargas did not win the first six rounds. And after this first six rounds, that's when um his trainer, Steve Cunningham, had got up in his ass telling you got to throw your hands because it was so many opportunities that Adrian Broner missed out and knocked Jesse Vargas out. Because he could have stopped his ass in like the sixth round. Jesse Vargas, he was outmatched. He, he could not fuck with him. At 144, he, he's not, he don't got no power at all. He was thinking about going up at 147. You damn sure ain't going to be fucking with nobody. And, and you at a lower weight, you don't have no fucking power. But anyways, you know what I'm saying. Adrian Broner, he fucked Jesse Vargas up. He had Jesse Vargas' shit leaking. His face was swollen the fuck up. And on top of that, his defense was much, he displayed much better defense than Jesse Vargas did. Jesse Vargas, he threw 300 more punches than Adrian Broner, but only landed nine more. These judges and these announcers and these fans, they need to stop thinking just because motherfuckers be throwing hella punches. That's good. A lot of his fucking, a lot of Jesse Vargas' punches were just landing straight on Adrian Broner's gloves. Won't do no type of damage. And even the punches that, a that um, Adrian got hit with, they didn't hurt him at all. How the hell does Jesse Vargas attack his body the way he did, but he got tired? Jesse Vargas was tired as fuck in the later rounds. And he attacked the fuck out of Adrian Broner, but that shit did not phase him at all. You know what I'm talking about? Adrian Broner's face looked like he didn't even fight. Adrian Broner didn't look like he fought last night. If you look at his face, it looked like he... If Adrian Broner wants to, he can fucking start having another fight next Saturday fucking night. Jesse Vargas got him to take a motherfucking pay vacation because he got his ass fucked up. I'm talking about Jesse Vargas got robbed. Hell fucking no. He was throwing so many punches, not landing, miss, not miss. He wasn't landing any of them, most of them. On top of not, like, on top of not landing, he could not hurt Adrian Broner. Adrian Broner was hurting the fuck out of him. Only thing is, Adrian Broner, if he would have threw a couple more punches those times where he was countering him, he would have stopped Vargas. He would have knocked his ass cold out, bro. I mean, I wasn't as mad with a draw. I was just hoping Vargas didn't win because he did not win that fucking fight. Adrian Broner won that shit. But if they rematch, I don't know how that's going to go. Unless Adrian Broner just start letting his hands go more because if he lets his hands go, bro, he can really fuck motherfuckers up. Real talk. Adrian Broner, he sh I think, I think he'll... Uh, his comeback, he's gonna be a good comeback. It's gonna be real good for him. He just gotta let his hands go. His new trainer, they, 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 they look good last night. The only thing is, AB on his part, on AB's part, he just wasn't letting his hand go. He, his trainer had to get in his ass about that shit, no homo. But you know what I mean. In the 11th round, a lot of people gave that shit to Vargas, but the only thing is, his jab. It was fucking up. It fucked up Adrian Broner's flow because he had won like the last four or five rounds. And that had fucked up that flow. But his jab, it, it was just fucking up his flow. It was a few counters and shit times Jesse got hit in that round where he was hurt. That jab wasn't hurting him. It was just fucking up the flow. That's one thing though. But Mike McCallum told Jesse Vargas, you got to use that jab again. He actually did it. It took a few rounds for... Adrian Broner to start letting his hands go like his trainer said, but you know Anybody who fucking thinks that um Jesse Vargas won the fight you're fucking stupid. You don't know you don't know how to fucking judge a fight 
people judge like a lot of these motherfuckers just judge fight based off of their entertainment. If you're not, if they're not going in swinging a whole lot, you're not gonna get points from them, and that's fucking bullshit. Cause, but you know what I mean, you know. But I wonder how um how um you know. Well, I don't wonder. Six nine, that shit was funny when he came out with six nine music, but yeah, they bet they bet money, and you know, you know what I mean. It was a draw, so they gonna keep their money. Six nine lucky because three hundred k is pocket change to Adrian Bronis. You know what I'm saying? He's like, you like, I'm for one hundred k, Nick. Adrian Bronis, you gonna get nothing fuck out. Oh, oh, you wanna make 200k? I put 200k on this shit right now. And your money, you gonna get nothing the fuck out, you fucking clown. Oh, wanna make it three? Wanna make it three? I put three on your right now.